welcome to another crochet headband tutorial and this tutorial can be great also for beginners i will show you step by step how to make this headband and this quick pattern so let's get started i'll be using this amazing yarn called big merino from drops brand it's 50 grams uh, ball of yarn and it's 100% merino wool. You will need just one ball of this yarn. 5 mm crochet hook, pair of scissors, yarn needle, measure tape and stitch markers. Okay, start with the slip knot and if you are making adult size as me, chain. 64 and use 5 mm crochet hook if you are using the same yarn if you are following me in each step start with a slip knot and then chain 64 64 for adult size but it's up to you you can use any other yarn and it's better when you will uh, make an even number of chain. Okay, now I'm going to use the third loop. So I will not use chains, but the loop behind the chain. So I'm talking about this loop. I will call it as third loop and start in the second loop, second third loop. So this is second chain, this is second third loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the third loop, second third loop, grab the yarn, pull it through. You have three loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull it through all three loops. This is half double crochet. And you have to make one half double crochet in each third loop across. If it's hard, uh, if it's hard to insert your hook into the third loop, just use chains. It's okay. But if you will use third loop only, you will have nicer edge of the headband. So continue working. One half double crochet in each third loop all the way across. You can pause the video and then meet me back again at the end of this first row. Okay, this is how it looks like. I'm at the end of the row. Chain one and turn your work. And now we are going to make single crochets and berry stitch so start in very first stitch and make single crochet this is single crochet and if you are a beginner uh, i recommend you uh, use stitch marker so mark the first stitch of the row okay into the second stitch we are going to make berry stitch. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch, grab the yarn. You have three loops on your hook. Grab the yarn, pull it through left loop only. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, and now you have five loops on your hook. Grab the yarn and pull it through all these five loops. This is berry stitch. Into the next stitch, make single crochet. Now bear stitch again and you will alternate single crochet and bear stitch all the way across. And now we are on the wrong side of the headband. This is the right side. 
At the end of each row, always chain one and turn your work. And now we are going to make half double crochets again. So start in very first stitch and make first half double crochet. And you have to make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. And use stitch marker again if you are a beginner or if it's better for you. When you look at the stitches from this view, you can see stitches very well. So continue working one half double crochet in each stitch across. I'm nearly at the end of the row and I have two stitches left. So here is my stitch marker. So there will go last half double crochet of this row. And then chain one and you will alternate row one and row two. So chain one, turn your work and now it's time for row with single crochets and peri stitch. So start with single crochet in very first stitch. Use stitch marker, mark the first stitch, first single crochet, and then berry stitch. And when you will make uh, berry stitch and single crochets row, uh, you have to always start with single crochet and finish the row with single crochet. So continue working one single crochet and one bare stitch all the way across and you will alternate first and second row. So you will alternate half double crochet row and bare stitch row. And I will make um, five bare stitch rows in total. So it's up to you if you want to have um, your headband more um, high, you can make more rows. Okay, and this is how it looks like. And I'm going to measure the length of my headband. It's for adult and it's 48 centimeters and it's stretchy. So you can cut the yarn, pull the tail through and we will use this tail for sewing. And now uh, you need to have the wrong side down and put both sides together like this. I mean you have to put both sides in a half and then insert them to each other like this and now we can sew so use this end for sewing use yarn needle or tapestry needle And remember, you have to insert your needle through four layers.
okay and this is how it looks like this is our twisted um, front part of the headband so now just weave the tail inside the headband and you have to weave also the starting tail into the headband Okay, and we are at the end of this tutorial. I think it's pretty simple pattern. Uh, you can practice if you are if you are beginner. You can practice stitches and and how to crochet. And the width of my headband is ten centimeters. And that's all from me. So thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.